Rick says, first, thanks for the show. I really appreciate it sure, and Rick. look forward to it every Tuesday evening. Second, I believe most installation guides for Ubuntu suggest one or two times the amount of RAM as the swap space. Hmm. If one were to increase the amount of actual RAM in a system, is it advised to increase the swap space on a system? In my case, oh, sorry, did you want to? No, yeah, sorry, I didn't know you were still going. Yeah, just a bit <laughs> more. Uh, Rick says, in my case, I went from one gig to three gigs RAM, but haven't done anything with the swap file. It's on uh, an intrepid 64-bit system. Okay, so the big thing that's going to that's gonna affect that, Rick, whether you need to increase that swap space, I would say, just because, you know, just keep, keep it simple, right? Um, if you're using a notebook computer, then I would say, yeah, you want to increase that uh, swap space. The reason I say that is because the swap is pretty, you know, it's going to be largely used when you go into hibernation mode. So we want to make sure that it's more than whatever amount of RAM you have in that computer. If, on the other hand, it's your desktop computer and you're not noticing any performance degradation, then I would say that you're probably fine until the next uh, upgrade, next time you format your computer and install Ubuntu. At that point, I would suggest that you maybe, uh, you know, uh, increase the size of your swap file. Uh, or your swap partition. So, uh, you know, let us know if, if, you, if you decide that you definitely need to do that, then let's, let's take a look at it in a future show. Maybe post me another email and just say, okay, yeah, I want to increase that swap space now, uh, and we'll go from there.